Okay. Welcome to the Royal Box overlooking the Queen's Ground here at Smith's Lawn for the 2020 Cartier Queen's Cup draw. Set within the beautiful surroundings of Windsor Great Park, Smith's Lawn has been the home of Guards Polo Club since 1955 and will, over the coming weeks, host one of the world's most prestigious polo tournaments. The Cup was personally presented to the club by Her Majesty the Queen in 1960, and so this year we are celebrating its 60th anniversary. History, tradition and family are very very much the hallmark. Ten teams have entered this year, including the current holders of the trophy, Scone Polo, who were victorious at their first attempt, whilst Park Place, having reached the final in the past two years, will be hoping for third time lucky. We welcome back Adolfo Cambiasso with Next Generation, attempting to extend his record-breaking tally of ten Queen's Cup victories, although this year with a difference. He teams up with his son, Adolfo Cambiasso, Jr. Remarkably, we have a second father and son involvement with James Harper defending the title for Scone, while son Will plays for Park Place Vara. In addition, not only does Alessandro Bassoni's Monterosso return for a fourth attempt, but we also welcome warmly his wife, Siri, and her team, MT Vikings, who are making their first foray into the Queen's Cup along with newcomers Polo Stud Shokomola and Segavas. As if that wasn't enough for family connections, we have the brothers Camillo and Bartolome Castanola playing together for Le Leon Great Oaks and, whilst Nico Pires again takes the field for Scone, elder brothers Gonzalo and Facundo line up for Park Place, with the latter attempting a sixth Queen's Cup victory. Although these siblings, along with Ned Hine, Will Happer, and Perotto Cambiasso hope to reach the finals as their fathers did, Mark Tomlinson will be striving to emulate his parents' victory together with Los Locos in 1979. Ty Polo's Thomas Beresford, however, aspires to go a generation further. His father, Lord Charles, won in 1984. His grandfather, the Marquess of Waterford, played with our president in the 64 and 66 finals, whilst his great uncle, Lord Patrick, also played in the 64 final, in addition to winning the Cup in 1982. So the 2020 Cartier Queen's Cup has all the hallmarks of being truly memorable. I will therefore now hand you over to Mr Brian Stein, Chairman of Guards Polo Club, to get the ball rolling, assisted by our polo manager Anthony Fanshaw, who himself played in the 1995 final alongside Tommy Beresford's uncle, Gabriel Donoso. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. As uh, Major Hayward has just said, 2020 is particularly important to the history of the Queen's Cup as we are celebrating its 60th anniversary. Before the coronavirus pandemic, Her Majesty the Queen had generously offered to personally host the draw at Windsor Castle, such as the importance of the Cup to the Royal Family. His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh, our President, reached the final twice in 1964 and in 1966. Whilst his son, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, reached three finals, winning with Le Dable Bleu in 1986. Not only am I saddened that we had to cancel such a prestigious occasion, but I'm equally disappointed that Lauren Fenu, Managing Director of Cartier UK and generous sponsor of the Cup since 2012, and the many dedicated players from the ten teams taking part in this year cannot join us here today in the Royal Box due to the restrictions surrounding COVID-19. I'd like to thank both Nick Wilds and David Wood at the Hurlingham Polo Association, the HPA, for their focus and commitment during these unprecedented times. We are only able to host the Cartier Queen's Cup draw here tonight due to their continued efforts on behalf of British Polo. I'd also like to personally thank every team manager and player taking part this year their loyalty to the tournament and Guards Polo Club in such difficult circumstances has been incredible. Your unwavering support enables us to deliver a first-class tournament worthy of such an illustrious anniversary. 
So I'm delighted to announce that here we will be living, sorry, we will be live streaming every match in the 2020 Cartier Queens Cup tournament via Guards TV. The service will be free to all members, so even if games remain behind closed doors, everyone will be able to enjoy 22 gold polo at its very best here at Guards Polo Club. So without any further ado, please let me hand over to Anthony, who will explain how this year's tournament will run, and more importantly, find out who will be playing who. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Brian. Um, first of all, I would like to also thank all the teams for sticking by us in these really tough, extraordinary times. It's an incredible effort and shows what a passion we really have for this sport. Our protocols have enabled many, many people to get back to work, so please can we continue to abide by the new rules set by both the government and the Hurlingham and Polio Association, and let's keep safe and stay alert. Ten teams have entered the Cartier Queen's Cup, and we will play them as two leagues of five. So four games each, and this will be, these four games will be played by the 12th of August. The winner of each league will go to the semis on the 19th of August. Second and third of each league will play third and second of the other league in a mini quarter final on Saturday the 15th of August. So with no further ado, I wish you all the best of luck and I'll hand you back to Brian to do the draw. Thank you, Anthony. Right, I will take bag one and pull out the first, first team, first team to be drawn in the Queen's Cup 2020. Les Leon Great Oaks. Next Generation. Park Place Vara Park Place MT or Monterosso Vikings Monterosso Polo Team Scone Polo The Gavath Thai Polo and finally Polo Stad Shokamola Thank you Tizzy So here, here we have the draw for the Queen's Cup 2020 Thank you all very much for attending, for watching um, the straw will be sent out to all the participants this evening. Thank you. Pinito? Yeah. Gracias. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Well done. Well done.